Welcome you all for to Connect 2008 video podcast. Uh, today we have a very prominent personality with us, Dr. Kota Hari Narayana. He is a Raja Ramana Fellow of National Aerospace Laboratories, and we have given this opportunity from all over the world to ask questions to Dr. Kota. Uh, Dr. Kota, being a part of a research team, okay, being the fellow of National Aerospace Laboratories, um, how do you see communication nowadays? How it is happening exactly? Are all the people connected to each other with ease or not? No, the present uh, communication is far, far, far superior to say, even five years back. Yeah. And the people are able to network much, much easier. Much, much. I think the internet is playing a, a extraordinarily positive role okay. in bringing people to uh, plus mm. other uh, mm. communication technologies also. Yeah. Uh, no doubt. So uh, being a part of the research team, do you propose a new mechanism of communication to uh, here I am asking about the communication which is reaching the common man and the rural people. So since we are talking about internet, we are uh, connecting to the uh, people who are literate enough to use the internet. internet. So like uh, how, how do we reach uh, the common man using this uh, communication technology? See, I find the um, one of the very, very powerful medium today to these people is the TV. Yeah. TV and also uh, now the radio also is becoming very, very popular even within the yeah. in the rural areas and all. Yes. I think we have to use that medium quite well. Yeah. And uh, in fact, uh, for example, for the uh, transmitting some of the uh, lessons, some of the teaching programs, uh, the TV is used very effectively today. Yeah, okay. exactly. And uh, some of the See, recently many, many engineering colleges have introduced uh, aviation as a subject. Yeah, great. And uh, in fact, TV is being used mm. as a medium to uh, bring some of the experimental yeah. results, some of the facilities mm. which uh, the students would not have seen. Would not have okay? seen. Okay. And uh, interactively, we are also trying to see how they can even conduct a, mm. a, an experiment. Yeah. Uh, using the facilities, some place like National Aerospace Lab. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's a good medium, that's a good medium. some time to come. Mm. And uh, the wireless is becoming very, very mm. common now. Mm. Maybe wireless will play a much bigger role as we go back. As we go back. Yeah. Uh, today morning we have seen the launch of Aero Park in Tamil Nadu. <laughs> so what would be the advantages after coming this Aero Park in the Tamil Nadu? See, um, if we see today, uh, in India, uh, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai yeah. are the three places where a lot of um, yeah. industries yeah. Uh, are doing work for aerospace. Yeah. Okay, and uh, but they're all scattered. Yeah. Um, there is a need for a, a, a an aero park where these scattered industries of different disciplines yeah. uh, can be co-located. Yeah. So that there is synergy, there is complementarity, yeah. and when there is a synergy and complementarity, yeah. they become attractive yeah. for major investors to come from Fine. within and outside India. Within and outside. outside so India. will it be creating the opportunities for the students from the engineering colleges of India to yes. participate and become a part of the development team? Yes, we do think so because yeah. uh, it's a comprehensive plan. Yeah. We are looking at manufacturing. Yeah. We are looking at uh, maintenance repair overall. Mm. We are looking at operations. Mm. We are also looking at training. Mm. Okay? And training not merely the engineers as it is done in engineering colleges. Mm. We are looking at right from technician level, mm. diploma level, mm. and at the what you call engineering level, plus at R&D &D. level. So uh, you are thinking of a different kind of a, a university system. Mm. And that should be able to meet the cross-sectional requirements of an industry on one side and R&D and engineering services on the other mm. side. We do believe that is the kind of a mm. uh, system which is now lacking in any one single place. Yeah. So this uh, Aero Park with this kind of capability will be able to fulfill the fulfill requirement. The yeah. Yeah. Uh, like uh, we have Nano launched from the Tata Motors, okay, yeah. which is the cheapest car in the world. Mm -hmm. In one lakh they are giving the car to us. So are we hoping the same from uh, this Aero Park and the program which we are initiating inside India? I like, feel uh, Aero Park mm -hmm. will play a major role in our future development in mm -hmm. aviation. 
aviation? Uh, today, civil aviation is growing very fast. Yeah. While a lot of airlines, a lot of operators are there, yeah. but when it comes to manufacturing, yeah. or maintenance, repair, overall design, uh, not enough is happening. Yeah. So there is a proposal to develop uh, a regional transport aircraft. Mm. And I hope uh, with the right kind of industries coming up in uh, the aero park, mm. they will play a lead role mm. in uh, realizing this, uh, uh, what you call, regional transport aircraft program. Mm. Okay. Mm. So, I mean, in fact, one of the purposes for which uh, we thought uh, an aero park should be established is mm. to bring this kind of a networking yeah. and uh, make the place uh, really cost effective uh, for taking new initiatives in uh, design, development, manufacture and subsequent product support, supply chain activities. Yeah. So I do believe it will happen. Yeah. I look at um, Bangalore, Hyderabad, uh, Chennai as in fact like a very well-knit uh, triangle. Right. Yes, uh, yes, so they are connected triangle. to each other. Connected so to each other. The distance very good. is not much. Okay. So, uh, they will be like a single hub. Yeah. <laughs> That's so what we look this will be the initiation from the Tamil Nadu and it will yeah. spread up to uh, the uh, Andhra Pradesh. Pradesh. The Andhra Pradesh already has got a, <coughs> a, an aviation park. Hmm. Hmm. But it's much smaller scale. Hmm. I'm happy to see that um, hmm. Tamil Nadu is planning in a much bigger way. Yeah. I, I believe hmm. it has to be in a bigger way to be successful. Yeah. So I hope it will come. today's hmm. announcement is a very big good announcement and is music to ears of aerospace people. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so the concluding uh, question, okay, how do you see research from the window of a corporate world? Like being a part of the research team and yeah. uh, performed so multiple number of roles in the research yeah. area. So how do you look at uh, research from corporate world? So today, <coughs> let me tell you from my background experience, yeah. uh, before uh, I I started working in NAL, National Aerospace Laboratory for a civil aircraft. Mm. Uh, I was associated with the development of a fighter aircraft. Mm. And um, at that time, the only small and medium scale industries were getting interested, doing jobs and all. Mm. But now there is a sea change. Mm. I find bigger industries, uh, yeah. uh, right from um, LNT, Mahindra, Tata's, all these people, mm. plus engineering companies, uh, service companies, IT companies like Satyam, uh, TCS and all, uh, not only they're showing interest, they're also doing more and more work. More and more work exactly. So with this kind of thing happening, mm. I find the, uh, the vibrancy in the aviation sector mm. uh, is increasing in a very, very significant way. And uh, that is the one which is going to make India a major aviation hub aviation. in the world. Exactly. They are also hmm. are now becoming a major market. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you become a major market and you have hmm. talent, you yeah. have capability, hmm. it becomes a hub. Yeah. And that's what we look forward to. Fine. India Fine. happening. Fine. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty exactly. soon. Pretty soon. <laughs> Pretty yeah. soon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, what is a single liner for the uh, Indian youth from your side regarding pursuing research? Uh, hmm. I find um, that uh, today the world looks at India. Hmm as the innovation center yes and uh, out of 500 uh, fortune 500 companies mm. 250 they have their r and facility in india yeah so the uh, i find the scope is unlimited scope is unlimited unlimited yeah and so uh, the greatest excitement you get mm. When you do a research, mm. design, and development, development much, yeah. much more than what you get in any other sphere. Yeah. So I think exciting times are there for uh, youth, mm. and they must jump in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks a lot, Dr. Kota, for mm -hmm. being a part of this uh, mm -hmm. program.